Alright, so this video is going to be about constant velocity. Velocity. Alright, so what constant velocity is talking about means that we basically have uh, a motion that is not changing. So when we talk about velocity, you know, we've kind of discussed in class how you would calculate velocity. Uh, and velocity and speed, remember, are very similar to each other. One just happens to have direction on it in most cases. Uh, but if we were to calculate the velocity of an object, it would be distance divided by time. And technically, this is distance traveled divided by the time. Uh, we know that the unit for this is meters per second. So let's just say we have this, this car. Here we go. It's a really nice car. Let's throw in a little bit of detail. There we go, steering wheel. And we are going to say that this car is traveling at 70 miles per hour. So that means in the first hour, this car has gone 70 miles. All right? Okay. In the next hour, it has gone another 70 miles. Okay. In the next hour, it would go another 70 miles. Okay, the speed, the, con the velocity is not changing. Okay, it's going 70 miles an hour every hour, and it's always going 70 miles an hour. Okay, this is a really nice uh, velocity for us because it is not changing. If we were to take a look at the graph of something like this, uh, let's start off with velocity versus time. Okay, so we got time down here measured in seconds. Usually, this one's usually measured in meters. Uh, but in this case, we're going to measure this in miles and this one in hours. So we're taking uh, a look at our car. Okay, we got 70 up here, and there's the first hour, there's the second hour, there's the third hour. So at the first hour, it was here. Okay, second hour, it was still up here at 70. The third hour, it's still up here at 70. So if we were to connect the dots, we would get this very, very flat line. Okay, and that's what constant velocity shows on a velocity versus time graph. So it's a flat line. Okay, And that is specifically for velocity versus time graph. Velocity versus time. Okay, Now what would that actually look like for a distance versus time graph? Well, let's go back over here for a second. Okay, And let's see if I can change maybe the color all right so over the first hour he went 70 miles okay but when you add that to what he went during the second hour now all of a sudden he's traveled 140 miles total distance okay over the third hour he's traveled another 70 which puts it up at 210 miles so if this is talking about the distance that he travels, we're talking about his position relative to the zero point, that's where he started, then let's talk about what that might look like for a distance versus time or position versus time graph. Okay, so position versus time graph would look a little bit different. Okay, here's our position. We're measuring this in miles. Here's our time. We're measuring this in hours. Okay, there's our first hour, there's our second hour, there's our third hour. But we know at zero, zero time, he started off at the, at the uh, origin, at the very beginning. Okay, but the first hour, he was up here at 70. All right. Then at the second hour, he's up 70 more at 140. Okay. <coughs> at the third hour... He's up here at 210. All right. So you might start to see then that, and of course, the, the line should go through all, all the dots. But what we get is this very nice increasing line. Okay. It's still a straight line, but it's, it's not flat like what we saw on the velocity versus time. Okay. So this is a straight line. to show constant velocity. It means that the velocity, now what we also talked about in class was taking a look at the slope of this particular line gives us velocity. So remember that slope on this graph gives us velocity. 
Okay, the slope is the thing that gives us velocity. Sorry about my handwriting. It says velocity, and you can see that for every point on this line, the slope is exactly the same. Okay, it gives us a very nice uh, straight line. Well, could we also have a situation? I'm gonna do this in a different color. Let's try it with green. All right. Could we have a situation where here is the zero point, and maybe the object started way over here? Okay, we're going to call this, uh, I don't know, 100 meters away to get back to our usual unit system. Okay, and in one minute, so 60 seconds, okay, he was able to travel, what does that look like, about a third of it? So we'll say 33 meters did he travel, all right? Okay, I'm at, so if he traveled 33 meters then that means we're at 67 meters, right? In the next 60 seconds, he was able to come down here, and now we're at 34 meters, all right? And then in the next 60 seconds, he was able to get back here. So it took 120 seconds to get here, and it took 180 seconds to get here. So what would that look like on a position versus time graph? Well, we have position, time, there we go, position in meters this time, time down here in seconds this time. So at zero, he started off way up here at the 100, at the 100 meter mark. Okay, after one minute, so we'll call this 60 seconds, he's down a third of the way. Okay, down a third of the way. Come on. There we go. Okay, 120 seconds later, he's down another third of the way. And there we go. And then at 180 seconds, he's down all the way down at zero. So we can draw this line. Now, this line is also a straight line. But if we take a look at the slope, that slope is considered to be negative. It's decreasing. You're coming back towards, towards the origin. So we have a negative velocity in this case. Okay, negative velocity. And this is just saying, hey, he's moving that direction. He's moving the opposite direction from the guy who was doing this. Okay, this guy was moving this direction. We called that positive. Okay, he's moving away from zero. Okay, but this guy is coming back towards zero. So that has a negative velocity. Now we want to keep in mind, though, that zero is an arbitrary value. It can be put wherever you want it to be to put. Okay, if you're talking about uh, a car that's traveling on a road trip, then maybe Sherman might be zero because that's where we start. Okay, but it could be, hey, maybe your Aunt Sally's coming into town and they are coming in from, I don't know, Houston. Uh, so Sherman might still be zero, but now Houston is going to be where the starting point is and they're coming back towards Sherman. Okay, that would be a positive or negative value. Now I'm going to throw this at you. And just a reminder that you can pause and rewatch this video as many times as it takes you. But let's say zero is right here in the middle, and I'm going to do this in a different color. Okay, let's try let's try this. Okay, zero is right here in the middle. All right, and we have a guy who is sitting on this line. This is zero. Okay, we got negative values over here, positive values over here. So we have a guy who's over here, okay, doing a little jog, like my little guy, he's jogging, he's jogging this way, and he's jogging at a cool, I don't know, two meters per second, okay, and he's sitting four meters in the negative, okay, this is four meters in the positive. Well, if you're driving at two meters per second, constant, then after the first second, he should be right here, right, at a negative two meters away from zero. That would be after the first second. The second second, he'll be at zero. Okay, he's traveling another two meters. The third second, he's over here at a positive two meters. And the fourth second, he gets way over here. So what would that look like on a graph? Okay, well, if we graph this, and we could graph it as position versus time or velocity versus time, but I think position versus time is going to be what we like. Okay. Notice how I put the zero mark right there in the middle, mainly because we started at a negative four. Okay, there's one, there's two. Two seconds later, he's at zero. 
two seconds later, he's way up here at a positive four. So if he starts here, gets here two seconds, gets here two seconds, okay, that is still constant velocity. But take a look at this area right here. This area is telling us, hey, we have a negative position, but we have a positive velocity. Okay, and what happened right there? All right, I'm going to leave that for a question for after you watch the video.